So this is a follow on from yesterday's video where I was giving advice to beginners, uh, guys who are new to the idea of doing day game and just what I would recommend for them to consider whilst they do it. And this one's a bit more of a broader one for more, for pretty much just any guy who is going out and doing day game or cold approaching in whatever circumstances. And these are mindsets that certainly over the years that when guys have adopted them has certainly seen a shift in the results that they've been getting. Um, and um, the reason why I wanted to kind of give this list is because I think as well, guys take do uh, take doing day game a little bit too seriously. Uh, they come in with more of a, this, this strict military strategy with, with doing it. And then they wonder why they don't get results. So if this is you, then hopefully I think these different mindset um, shifts or ideas that hopefully you can adopt will make a difference to your cold approaches. So the first one, then I'm sure any guy who has gone out and done this for a while will certainly realize, but for new people, I want you to understand that the first approaches that you do don't really matter. Like with anything, and in fact, like when you probably get out of bed in the morning, your brain is a bit sticky. You haven't been talking for like, like eight, 10 hours or whatever. And the moment you start talking, you're just all like, blur. You know, your sentences probably don't make sense. They're probably not strung together properly or you're not quite talking with clarity. And I can assure you that also happens in the social scene. When you're going out and talking to people, especially if you're nervous and anxious, then when you do have that first approach or first couple of approaches, your brain is going to be sticky. You're not going to be sure what to say. And also, you know, with that cortisol in your body, that's also going to prevent you from thinking clearly as well. So you have to bear that in mind. But your first approaches then don't really matter. It doesn't matter if you get rejected. It doesn't matter if your first few approaches are just giving compliments or asking for directions. The important thing is that you're just rebuilding that comfort zone and getting used to talking to people in a not so normal environment. So don't worry for new people, don't worry about how your first few approaches goes. It means nothing. It doesn't say anything about you personally. That doesn't mean you're a failure, day game doesn't work for you, you should give up and all of this malarkey, you know, which is just nonsense. You have to stick with it. You have to just get yourself over that hurdle where you'll suddenly feel grounded. Uh, you go into something which has been dubbed as flow state and you will just feel really present in the moment. You'll feel clarity. Um, and when you then talk to people, you will have no problems with listening to what they're saying and having good clear responses to them. So point number one, don't stress about your first few approaches. You will be absolutely fine. In fact, enjoy those first few approaches and uh, even go in with the mentality of, you know what, I'm not going to worry if these go horribly wrong. Um, I'm more concerned about the ones later on in the day and see how I go from there. Which kind of leads me on to my second point, which is to embrace your rejection. So I certainly covered this in my video yesterday, but it is a really, really important one to, to bear in mind for anyone when they go out that the, the more open you are to embracing rejection, the much faster and easier it is to overcome it. And certainly to remove the anxiety of rejection as well. And like with the other videos that I've spoken about with exposure therapy and desensitization, you know, everyone does experience rejection. Rejection is a part of life. You know, you can't reject it in anything. You can't escape it. Um, but you will find that if you are doing street approach and you're going to get a lot of it because of certainly a number of reasons, which I probably will do another video on, but you know, you don't know what is going on in a woman's day when you're going over to talk to her. She could be having a really bad day, you know, or you may have called her when she is just incredibly busy, or yes, she has a boyfriend or she's married or something. And uh, that doesn't mean then that you have to take it to heart. Instead, you'd be like, you know what? I'm glad that I came over anyway, and I would have regretted it otherwise. And uh, you will feel better about yourself 
especially if you're adopting the mindset that rejections are everywhere. It is absolutely okay to experience rejections. I, in fact, I welcome rejections. I embrace rejections. I want to be rejected. You know, saying these statements to yourself, especially when you're out either on your own or with friends when you're uh, practicing together, it is a great philosophy to have for yourself that you want to uh, experience rejections. The more that you want something negative to happen, then the less bad it actually is. But then when you want something really positive to happen, then it seems to kind of attract more the negativity to it. So I'll find out what it was called, but, but yeah, the more that you can embrace the rejection and actually the more positive the experience will be for you because you're just gonna overcome that hurdle very quickly. So my third point to you is that you have to enjoy the process. Now, this was a famous and favorite statement of mine from a coach called Johnny O'Halloran, or uh, at the time his stage name was Johnny Berber. I highly recommend checking out his YouTube channel if you can. He's gone more down the uh, the life coaching and confidence route, which I absolutely admire. Um, and certainly I'm going to try and get him uh, as, a, uh, as an interview on my channel at some point as well. And one of the most beautiful messages that he had in the past was about enjoying the process, that don't worry too much about the outcome of the results that you want to get with women. Instead, go out, have fun, enjoy your interactions and develop your conversations with people. And that will just naturally evolve into getting really good results anyway. So whether you're someone new or you've been doing this for a while, you know, you've got to remember that going out and meeting women or flirting with them and stuff, you know, it is all about fun. And if you forget that, then, you know, you have to kind of question like, are you doing street approaching or are you doing day game for the right reasons uh, you don't want it to consume your life I've, I've certainly done uh other videos and interviews about you know what happens if you over over obsess with this industry and i don't want to see guys or hear of guys going uh crazy because of uh running around and chasing women so I want you to enjoy the process. When you're going out and you're talking to women, even if you're really nervous and anxious, I want you to remember that you're going out because you want to have fun. That, you know, enjoying people should be, um, meeting people, sorry, should be an enjoyable experience, okay? And try not to forget that. However difficult it might seem in the moment, if you're approaching, you see someone that you're attracted to and you're like, oh, I'm really nervous to go and do it go in there and have fun with it. It doesn't really matter. If it goes horribly wrong, it doesn't really matter. But also know that if she likes you, if she loves the uh, the boldness of you coming over to say hello, she will give you every opportunity to try and make the situation work. So rest assured, enjoy the process, try not to be too outcome dependent. And I promise you, you will get really good results. Even if you're new to doing day game or have been doing it for a while. Something went really, really dark. I can tell it's it's gonna absolutely bucket uh, with rain very shortly. Um, so yes, point number four, don't forget to smile. Now, over the years, the most funniest thing I've seen is when guys, uh, coaches as well as just normal everyday guys, they've gone and stopped women with the most serious look on their face. Now, don't get me wrong, if that's kind of like your own like resting bitch face kind of thing, then, um, you know, or maybe you just, you're just a very sort of like serious looking guy, then, um, okay, there, there's probably only so much we can do here. But you know what? Having a bit of a smile on your face, you know, having like this sort of like cheeky look about you, you know, it only is, it's going to only add to the um, the ability to flirt with the women that you're talking to. You know, obviously there's a time and a place for being serious and, you know, and, and being all smiley or maybe not smiling. But most of the time, I think with majority of the interactions that I've seen, when a guy 
has at least a bit of a cheeky smile on his face when he's going over to stop a girl. Um, he's then saying his uh, his opening lines with more enthusiasm, more conviction, and also the women have loved it even more because they just know exactly why he's there. And he's not giving off this sort of like salesman uh, sort of like vibe, which um, definitely can happen if you're being maybe a bit too serious with it. So this does go hand in hand with the previous point of, you know, if you're going out, enjoy the process and have fun. And um, yeah, you you just, you have to smile. Um, if you're looking a bit too serious uh, with uh, approaching, then, you know, I also have to wonder maybe what's going through your head as you're thinking about doing the approaches as well. So have fun with your interactions and of course have a smile on your face and I promise you if you're someone who hasn't been smiling and you give it a go and not doing like a creepy smile don't like freak the girls out you know if you're doing this like really forced smile but just like either maybe like watch something funny or like like when you're with your friends I mean just talk about silly things and then go into interactions with a bit of a silly mood and yeah you'll have a good time and I promise you you'll get better results from that too and then my last one as well is always leave on a high so unfortunately over the years this industry has had a lot of flack and it's too easy for the industry to be knocked down uh, because of the odd bad egg that has ended up in like the media and stuff and um, you have to really kind of put the message out that you know talking to people socializing especially during the daytime can be a really really positive thing with building relationships and connections with people and the best way to do that is you know even if you get uh, rejected or not even a rejection but even if a woman says like you know that she's not interested or no thank you or she's got a boyfriend or she's married or whatever end it on a high say well you know what I'm glad that I came over to say something I would have regretted it otherwise or you know what I just want you to know that your partner is a lucky guy and I hope you remind him that things like that are only going to make her day. And it's going to then ripple because she'll end up telling her friends like, you know what? I had a really nice guy come over to me and give me a compliment and he wished me all the best and stuff. Or, and you know what? I really appreciated that. And just that positive reference is just going to ripple. And then you'll find other women will probably have this idea in their minds of like, oh, well, I wish someone would talk to me and come over to me and give me a compliment and, and treat me nicely and ask me out. So just from you know ending on a high leaving on a good note uh is such an important thing you know and even on the girls that obviously give you their phone number even ending it on a high it's saying how they look great or they look amazing or whatever that is also going to benefit you in a way as well as them because they're going to want to see you again who wouldn't want to see someone who's been really nice and amazing to them and had the balls to come over to give them a compliment and say that they were attracted to them um i think in fact uh christian casanova uh, as well who um, I'm doing a collaboration with uh, service wise uh, he has a great thing when I'm out filming with him and he always sort of finishes every interaction with you know I really hope that me coming over and talking to you will leave a smile on your face or has made your day and it does you know and girls or women appreciate that so that is my five mindsets for you so just recapping Point number one, the first approaches don't count uh, or they don't really matter. So don't put the pressure on yourself. If you're going out to do approaching, don't worry about those first interactions. If they go horribly wrong, it's meant to be that they go horribly wrong. It's after that that you pick yourself up and you carry on and you'll uh, get certainly really great results when you get into that flow state. Embrace your rejections. The more you, you can welcome them, the quicker and faster you will overcome your anxieties of rejection. Enjoy the process. Enjoy your interactions. Don't try and be too outcome dependent. The more you can enjoy socializing and having fun, the faster and better you will do as well with your results. And, uh, and in fact, the more refined you'll be as you're articulating to people as well. Four, don't forget to smile. It's too easy to go in uh, with a very serious look on your face. And you know what? Just from being a bit silly and smiling, 
you're going to just have a much warmer interaction or at least approach with the women that you're stopping. And then lastly is to always leave on a high, you know, leave the girl walking away in a really, really good mood. So not only is that going to make her feel great, she's going to pass that on to her friends and colleagues and whoever as well. And they're going to also just overall appreciate the idea of cold approach whether that be during the day at night or wherever and i can see it is getting really really dark now um so i think i'm probably going to turn the light on i want to try and make one more video today but i really hope this video was useful for you if you can like and subscribe i'd also love to hear which of these particular uh, mindsets are you going to try and adopt the next time that you go out to do some day game or cold approaching whatever the scenario is going to be and yeah I would love to hear which of these ones you're going to adopt and of course if you are someone who is maybe suffering or struggling with their anxiety I am an eye movement therapist as well as a life coach so I can help to hold you accountable with developing your day game skills as well as I can help to remove any of these limiting beliefs that you've got about yourself or perhaps maybe you've got some negative memories that are holding you back such as like maybe you've had lots of rejections and now you've got this fear of approaching people you know I can help with that too so you can approach people not necessarily remove the fear but to help you to get yourself in a circumstance where you can get more positive reference experience so you're not going to be phased by uh, approaching at all. So we'll end it there before I'm now in complete darkness and uh, thanks for watching.